Getting rounder glutes is a fitness goal many of us have. And that's because our butts are most often than not flat or with an undecisive shape. In my opinion, that's because we sit way more than we should, which shortens our hip flexors. As a result, the butt has to compensate and push forward. Plus, we lose muscle tone in that part of the body. But I digress. Basically, this video will guide you through five effective exercises that can help you achieve those rounder, fuller glutes. One of these exercises has an alternative for men who feel weird trying it, though they shouldn't. I'll also share the specific plan I use for hip abductions to maximize growth, but you'll have to watch until the end to find that out. Let's dive in. I'll start with the hardest exercise, but it's also the one that had my glutes explode. Honestly, I don't have really good genetics in that area so it's really hard for me to build butt muscles. So the usual routine of deadlifts and sumo squats was not awesome for me. However, Bulgarian split squats showed results in three or four sessions. And just as a side note, I only trained twice per week, very intensely, but still, just twice. And that means my butt and legs get one serious workout. Back to the Bulgarian split squats. These work so amazingly well, because they isolate the glutes and require immense stability and strength from each leg individually. When you perform Bulgarian split squats, you're forced to engage your glute muscles to keep balanced and maintain proper form. Besides, elevating your rear foot increases the range of motion, which leads to a deeper stretch and more intense glute activation. Aim for three sets of eight to 12 reps on each leg. Trust me, you'll feel the burn, but it's a burn that signals those glutes are getting the attention they deserve. The second awesome exercise for rounder glutes is hip thrusts. There are two schools of thought when it comes to hip thrusts. One says you should lift heavy and they're right because the glutes are extremely strong muscles. So they can lift more than you can think possible. For example, me and even many women I know can lift twice their body weight when doing machine hip thrusts. Male bodies are even stronger. The other school of thought is to lift smaller weights and do more reps. They're also right. Both approaches can be effective depending on your goals and how your body responds to different types of stimuli. Lifting heavy with hip thrusts can lead to significant strength gains and muscle hypertrophy, which is great if you're looking to build substantial glute mass. When you lift heavy, you're maximizing the mechanical tension on your glutes, which is a key factor in muscle growth. On the other hand, lifting lighter weights for higher reps focuses on muscle endurance and metabolic stress. High rep training also increases blood flow to the glutes, so you get that specific pump. Plus, of course, more nutrient delivery and easier recovery, but I suspect that getting that pump may make you feel better than knowing your butt gets more nutrients. So you could place this exercise at the end of your routine if you're taking the high rep low weight approach or at the beginning of your routine if you're doing the low rep high weight thing. Both methods have their merits and alternating between heavy and light sessions will provide a well-rounded stimulus for your glutes. If you're still unsure how to fit this exercise into your routine to max out your glute size, check out the video description to get in touch with me. We can build a personalized plan to reach your goals and monitor your progress together. Now back to the video. Another exercise that worked extremely well for me is step-ups. If you think about it, step-ups are like reverse Bulgarian split squats because your front foot is elevated. You can do them off a chair, a fitness box, or even some stairs. The most important aspect of step-ups is that you're elevating your front foot. This elevation stretches your glutes and therefore increases the demand on them. That type of contraction under tension leads to significant muscle activation and growth. Step-ups are also great because they're functional and dynamic. When you perform step-ups, you mimic the natural movement of climbing, which requires powerful glute activation to lift your body weight against gravity. This exercise also promotes muscle endurance and strength, which are essential for building a fuller, more rounded shape. The fourth exercise you should try is kickbacks. My favorite version is doing cable kickbacks because the cable keeps the tension constant throughout the move. But you can also do them with ankle weights. Now, for the men watching this video, you might think this is a move that mainly ladies do. However, you shouldn't let bias stop you from getting the glutes of your dreams. Kickbacks work really well because they isolate the glute muscles, so you get a targeted workout that directly stimulates glute growth. Alternatively, and I'm only suggesting this because I care, is using the back extension machine for glute growth. That means you'll have to modify the way you use the back extension machine to target your glutes effectively. Instead of focusing on extending your back, 
you'll need to adjust your technique to emphasize hip extension. So, position the pad slightly lower than typical, drive the movement through your hips, and round your back as you're doing it to squeeze your glutes more. If you don't have a gym membership, you can also do these off the side of your bed or a fitness box, but use your hands to avoid falling. This exercise allows you to engage the glute muscles deeply, providing a strong contraction and promoting muscle growth. Much like glute-focused hip extensions, kickbacks also emphasize the gluteus maximus, which is the largest muscle in the buttocks. Working this muscle is key for achieving that lifted, rounded appearance. Lastly, you need some sort of hip abduction to target your glute medius. Using the hip abduction machine at the gym is great. I have a specific workout plan for this to maximize growth. Basically, I do one set, but it's a cluster set. I start with the hardest weight at 100 pounds and do 10 reps, followed by 20 reps at half the weight, meaning 50 pounds. I then take 20 seconds of break and move on to the 90 pound weight for 10 reps and then 45 pounds for 20 reps. I repeat this whole spiel until the heavy weight becomes too easy for the 10 reps. And of course, you don't have to start at 100 pounds, but you need to start at the heaviest weight you can do 10 reps at. You can use the same plan whether you're doing clamshells, standing hip abductions, or lateral leg raises. But you're going to need a mix of ankle weights and resistance bands, so it'll be a harder setup. In that case, I recommend the lightweight high rep scheme. 30 to 50 reps per side, four times through. That said, hip abductions help make your glutes rounder because they specifically target the gluteus medius. This muscle plays a crucial role in hip stabilization and abduction. By strengthening it, you enhance the width and definition of your glutes, getting them a fuller, more rounded appearance. The hip abduction machine is particularly effective for isolating this muscle. Doing hip abductions with a challenging weight creates significant tension and stimulates muscle growth. My cluster set method, which combines heavy weights with lighter, high rep sets, maximizes both strength and endurance. And that's what leads to comprehensive muscle development. That said, give the five exercises in this video a try. This varied approach ensures that your glutes are worked thoroughly so they can grow rounder and more lifted. That said, I want to hear from you. What type of glute exercises have you tried? How are you playing with reps and sets to build your muscles? Remember to like this video, subscribe to the Fitness D channel, and let's talk in the comments below.